Woody Allen and Sue Neep are speaking out about HBO's docuseries, Allen vs. Pharaoh. In a statement to Variety released by the couple's spokesperson, Woody's sister, Letty Aronson, Woody and Sue Nee claimed the documentarians had, quote, no interest in the truth. According to the statement, the filmmaker spent years surreptitiously collaborating with the Pharaohs and their enablers to put together a hatchet job riddled with falsehoods. Letty claims that the couple was approached less than two months ago and given only a matter of days to respond. Of course, they declined to do so. But Amy Hurdy, who produced the docuseries, told Variety that she started reaching out to Allen's then-publicist, Leslie Dart, in 2018 to try to interview him. According to Variety, Amy said, I know they got my request because I was able to get an assistant on the phone saying, you are getting my emails, right? And she said yes, but they never responded. The documentary examines Dylan Farrow's sexual abuse accusations against her adoptive father, Woody. It also explores Woody's custody battle with Mia Farrow and his relationship with Mia's adoptive daughter and his now wife of 23 years. As an adult, Dylan publicly accused Woody of sexually assaulting her at the family's Connecticut country home when she was seven years old. Although Woody was investigated by the Child Sexual Abuse Clinic of the Yale New Haven Hospital and by New York State Child Welfare, he was never charged with abuse. Over the years, he has repeatedly denied the allegations, including in the statement to Variety, which alleges, whatever Dylan Farrow may have been led to believe, absolutely no abuse had ever taken place. The statement goes on to say, it is sadly unsurprising that the network to air this is HBO, which has a standing production deal and business relationship with Ronan Farrow. While the shoddy hit piece may gain attention, it does not change the facts. E! News has reached out to HBO, the filmmakers, and Woody for comment.